Imagine tiny robots, smaller than a grain of rice, capable of performing intricate tasks inside your body without leaving a single scar. This futuristic concept is rapidly becoming a reality thanks to advancements in nanotechnology and energy storage. Scientists are developing microscopic robots powered by invisible batteries, opening up new possibilities in medicine, engineering, and environmental monitoring. Let's delve into the groundbreaking research behind these minuscule machines. New Microscopic Robots MIT engineers have developed a groundbreaking new tiny battery that could transform the deployment of cell-sized autonomous robots for drug delivery within the human body. This battery is among the smallest ever designed and holds huge potential in terms of enabling previously impossible technological feats due to its size and capabilities. The new battery is incredibly small, measuring just 0.1 millimeters in length and 0.002 millimeters in thickness, comparable to the thickness of a human hair. Despite its minuscule size, it is engineered to deliver impressive performance. The battery works by using oxygen from the surrounding air, which it uses to oxidize zinc, thereby generating electrical current. This process allows the battery to achieve a potential of up to one volt a significant achievement given its microscopic scale. The power output is sufficient to drive tiny circuits, sensors, or actuators, providing a viable energy source for micro-robots and similar devices. This groundbreaking research was supported by several key funding sources. The U.S. Army Research Office, the U.S. Department of Energy, and the National Science Foundation all provided financial backing for the project, highlighting its potential importance across various fields including defense, energy, and technology. Additionally, a MathWorks Engineering Fellowship contributed to advancing the research. The involvement of these institutions shows the significance of developing such innovative technologies, especially those with wide-ranging applications like autonomous micro-robots. The applications of this battery extend across various fields, particularly in medicine and industry. In healthcare, the battery's compact size and capacity to power micro-robots could revolutionize precision medicine. Cell-sized autonomous robots powered by this battery could be used to navigate through the human body and deliver drugs to specific locations, enabling highly targeted treatment with minimal side effects. For conditions like cancer, where localized treatment is critical, this technology could greatly enhance the effectiveness of therapies. Beyond medicine, the battery could play a pivotal role in industrial maintenance, particularly in monitoring infrastructure. For instance, micro-robots equipped with this power source could be deployed within gas pipelines to detect and pinpoint leaks in real time, offering a more efficient and cost-effective solution than traditional inspection methods. The Robot Development Challenges Developing a small but powerful energy source for tiny robots is a tough engineering challenge. For years, Michael Strano, a professor of chemical engineering at MIT, and his team have been working on creating tiny robots that can detect and react to changes in their surroundings. One of the biggest challenges they've faced is finding a way to give these robots a steady and compact power source. Without this, these tiny robots can't reach their full potential, especially when they need to work in tight or hard-to-reach places. Some researchers have tried using solar power to run tiny devices. While this idea is creative, it has some big downsides. Solar-powered micro-robots need a light source, usually a laser, to shine on them constantly so they can work. Because they rely on this light, they are like puppets controlled by an outside force, which limits how independently they can operate. If the light is blocked or turned off, the robot stops working, making it less useful and unable to move freely. For these tiny robots to truly work on their own, especially in dark or hard-to-reach places, they need a built-in power source that doesn't rely on external light. The need for these tiny robots to work without being connected to an external power source is what motivated Strano to create a zinc-air battery designed just for micro-robots. Unlike systems that rely on solar power, a battery lets these small devices operate on their own without needing any external connection. This makes it possible for the robots to explore places where outside control isn't practical or where light isn't always available, like deep inside the human body, in underground pipelines, or in other closed-off areas. Strano's team made a key breakthrough by designing a zinc-air battery that is both small enough to fit within these micro-robots and capable of delivering the power needed for extended operation. 
They chose a zinc air battery because it uses oxygen from the environment to react with zinc and produce electricity. This design is very efficient and compact since it doesn't need to store oxygen inside the battery. By pulling oxygen from the air, the battery stays small and lightweight while still giving enough energy for the robots to work properly. The battery created by Strano's lab is a major step forward in micro-robotics. By placing a power source directly inside the robots, his team has made devices that can operate on their own in ways that weren't possible before. This increase in independence is important for tasks where constantly controlling the robots or needing human help isn't practical. For example, in medical treatments, these tiny robots could be sent into the body to reach specific cells or tissues, moving on their own without needing an external power source. In industrial areas, such as gas pipelines, these battery-powered micro-robots could be used to inspect tight spaces and find problems that larger devices or traditional methods might overlook. The zinc air battery creates new opportunities for micro-robotics, allowing these tiny devices to work in conditions where they would have been useless without an external power source. This breakthrough moves Strano's idea of fully autonomous micro-robots, capable of responding to their environment, closer to becoming a reality. It also paves the way for future developments in small autonomous systems that could be used in a variety of fields. The study demonstration. In the study, MIT researchers demonstrated that their tiny battery could generate enough energy to power various components and devices. For example, they used the battery to run an actuator, a type of mechanical part that moves something. In this case, it was a small robotic arm that could be lifted up and down. The fact that such a small battery can control even a basic robotic function like this is a significant achievement, showing that it has practical applications in robotics. The researchers also powered a device called a memory store with this battery. A memory store is an electrical component that can remember previous events by changing its electrical resistance based on what it has experienced. In simpler terms, it can store a kind of memory. For example, if the member store is exposed to a certain stimulus, like an electrical charge, it will remember that by adjusting its resistance. This ability to store information is important for small robots that need to adapt to their surroundings or remember specific conditions they've encountered. Another successful test involved powering a clock circuit with the tiny battery. A clock circuit helps robotic devices keep track of time. This is crucial for timing certain tasks, coordinating movements, or sending signals at the right moment. The researchers also explored the battery's ability to support two different types of sensors. These sensors are designed to detect chemicals in the environment by changing their electrical resistance when they come into contact with certain substances. One of these sensors is made from atomically thin molybdenum disulfide, a material known for its excellent sensing capabilities due to its ultra-thin structure. The other sensor is made from carbon nanotubes, which are tiny tube-shaped structures with unique electrical properties, making them highly sensitive to chemical changes. These successful tests show that this tiny battery is versatile enough to power a range of critical functions for micro-robots. From controlling movement and storing information to sensing the environment and keeping track of time, the battery can handle several key tasks, paving the way for more advanced and autonomous micro-robots in the future future potential and research directions. Though in the study, the researchers connected their tiny battery to an external device using a wire, which was necessary to test its functionality. However, in their future work, they aim to integrate the battery directly into the design of small robots, making the battery an essential part of the device itself. According to Michael Strano, the lead researcher, the battery will become the core of many of their robotic projects. Just as an electric car is built around its battery, these tiny robots can be designed around this power source, making them fully independent and functional without relying on external connections. The team is also focused on increasing the battery's voltage, which would allow the robots to perform more complex tasks and power additional components. With a higher voltage, these robots could take on a wider range of applications, opening up new possibilities for how they could be used in different fields. One of the most exciting future applications involves creating robots so small that they could be injected into the human body. These robots would be designed to travel through the body, locate a specific area like a damaged tissue or an organ, and then deliver a drug, such as insulin, directly to that target. 
This would make treatments more precise and effective, potentially reducing side effects by focusing on exactly where the medicine is needed. For use inside the human body, these robots would need to be made from materials that are safe for humans, known as biocompatible materials. Once their job is done, the robots could be designed to break down and dissolve naturally, leaving no harmful residue behind. This self-dissolving feature is important because it means the robots wouldn't need to be removed after completing their task, reducing the need for additional medical procedures. The development of this tiny battery is a major milestone, but further research is needed to refine its performance and expand its applications. Areas of interest also include improving energy density and scaling up production to make the technology more widely available. In addition, integrating these batteries into fully autonomous micro-robots will require advances in other fields such as robotics, artificial intelligence, and materials science. As these technologies mature, the possibilities for cell-sized robots and their applications in both healthcare and industry could grow exponentially. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.